Now let's discuss another important concept in custom acquisition, which is the payback time. And this is extremely useful because it tells you exactly how much time it takes you to get money back you have invested in customer acquisition. So let's start with a short definition. So when it comes to the payback time of the acquisition cost, we are talking about the time that elapsed between the moment when we have spent the money on customer acquisition and the moment we get our money back by him paying in a form of obviously of a gross margin that he generates for us the customer acquisition cost. The payback time is a key metric when it comes to measuring the sustainability of the business. So you may have a great lifetime value, low cost of acquisition, and still go bankrupt because your payback time is very long. So you have to invest a lot of money in the beginning in customer acquisition and wait a lot of time while you get your money back. In other words, you lose liquidity. That is why startups are so obsessed about getting as much money from investors as possible. Now, how we calculate the payback time? We do it in a very simple manner. So we simply divide the customer acquisition cost by the average monthly cross margin generated by this customer. So for example, if we spend 600 on customer acquisition and every month the customer generates $300, then it would mean that we'll get our money back in two months. Obviously, such optimistic picture you hardly see. Usually it is more than a year. Now, we can obviously try to link the payback time with the lifetime value as well. And for that, we will go back and revisit our lifetime formula. As you might remember, we've calculated lifetime value by multiplying four elements. Number of products bought during the month, price of the product, number of months he buys from us, and percentage gross margin. The first two and last one are actually our average gross margin from one customer. So if we multiply number of products bought during the month, the price of an average product, and then the percentage gross margin, we get exactly how much he generates for us every month. In other words, the lifetime value we can express as a multiplication of average gross margin from one customer and number of months during which he buys from us. This obviously means that we can rearrange the last equation and calculate the average gross margin from one customer and we would simply get the lifetime value divided by number of months he buys from us. Now let's plug it in into the payback formula. So the payback formula said that we would have the customer acquisition cost divided by the average monthly gross margin from one customer. And then we know that average gross margin from one customer is the lifetime value divided by number of months he buys from us. So we can actually calculate also payback time using customer acquisition costs, lifetime value, and number of months he buys from us. And you can also calculate in this way payback time. So that's in short when it comes to the payback time. I strongly recommend that you measure that along with the customer acquisition costs and lifetime value as it will drastically impact your ability to generate cash.